This is the Microfinance Podcast, bringing microfinance to your screen. The Microfinance Podcast is produced by Microsafe, market-led solutions for financial services, and is delivered to you by Moving Planet Films. You are watching episode number five. Hello, my name is Oksana Holtman, and welcome to another edition of Microfinance Podcast. Today, there will be some numbers on the screen, as we are going to talk about the Bishara Amara product features. We will also learn about what it took to develop the product and how Equity is marketing Biashara Imara. Here are some videos for you to watch. Biashara Imara was started in 2002, the first product, but we faced some challenges along the way. We had actually to stop it and go back to the drawing board and look at the product. And some of the key learning points was that uh, the management support had to be there. The second key learning point is that the bank had to drive the product. The other thing is the culture of the institutions. We were not uh, used to going out and actually analyzing loans outside. We just used to wait for the customers to come in. So getting people move out of their seats and go out, it was quite difficult and actually, in actual fact, the new product was not driven by, by existing staff. We had to hire new staff completely who we would mold to, to what exactly we wanted. After we pilot tested it and uh, we had success stories, especially in Naivasha, from both the customer and the staff, the other staff started appreciating the product. We also conducted so many trainings from the assistant manager, the branch managers, the credit managers and administrators just to sensitize them on the product and the benefits of the product as a whole. And we took a week with each and every of those management groups in different times. That one, I would say, gave us a lot of mileage in actually enabling them to understand the concept and also able to administer and, also, and, and actually look at it from a benefit side of it, both from the customer's perspective and also from the bank's point of view. The experience has been good, although initially when we started this product, uh, this was one year ago, we started with some fears amongst myself and my team, uh, especially because uh, we thought this is a very risky product, uh, whereby we are to start lending money to people without securities, uh, people with low earnings and with uh, small businesses. However, eventually with time, the product has performed so well in terms of uh, growth, in terms of the borrowers, in terms of the repayments, and also in terms of the portfolio. experience should be first and have a problem with that, then this should be the third one. Uh, we can go up to 500,000. The Biashara Imara product has helped women so much because it relies on affordable collaterals like households. Um, I used my Biashara Imara loan to stock up on my shop. I deal with mobile phones and accessories, and I was able to fully stock up my shop. And I was, through that, um, through my sales, I was able to branch out and open more outlets. And um, business is doing good.
we market Biashara Imara product by one, sending uh, people out to go and meet customers in their business premises, in the areas they are doing their business. We also market Biashara Imara by good customer service, whereby we say that serve a customer well, and he's going to spread the word of mouth to another person. That other person is going to come here and uh, the process continues. Uh, we also market Biashara Imala using written materials, whereby we have pamphlets, we have brochures, and we distribute to people so that uh, they can read and they can give that to their colleagues and their friends. These were some of the numbers and there's much more on the Equity Bank website. On the Microsafe website, there's a very useful toolkit that is called Individual Lending Toolkit for Credit Managers. You can also find a direct link to it on microfinancepodcast.com. Now we'll move on to the lending cycle. In the next episode, we will talk about the first step of it namely new customer introduction and filter. Our camera will take us to the equity banking halls and to Kenyan markets. Thank you for checking out this episode and see you next week.